So, hi guys, this is Daisy and welcome to my channel. So, for today's video, I'm going to share the three tools that can we use in online teaching and learning. So, first, let's talk about the pair deck. So, Pear Deck is a free tool in Google Slides that can we use to create an interactive and engaging presentation. So, the interactive features of the Pear Deck is that it allows the instructors to create and creative Google Slide presentations and assess their students' understanding about the materials and the informal environment. When you're ready to create a new Pear Deck, first log into Pear Deck and click Create a Presentation. This will create a brand new Google Slides file for you. And the first slide will have instructions for using the Pear Deck for Google Slides add-on. When you're ready to add an interactive question or prompt, click on the Add-ons menu and open the Pear Deck add-on. If Pear Deck isn't listed in the Add-ons menu, you will need to first install it from the Chrome Store. Once the Pear Deck sidebar is open, you can add slides from our template library or create your own custom questions. When you choose one of our templates, you can edit the prompt and add images to fit the specifics of your lesson. Notice the footer and the presenter notes tell you what kind of slide this is. To change the slide type, scroll down to Ask Students a Question. By clicking on text, you can change this from a drawing response to a text response slide. You'll note the footer and presenter notes indicate this is now a text response slide. So the next is the flip grade. So the Flipgrid is a wonderful free tool for all grade levels. So the student no need to create an account, only the teachers. So the benefits of the Flipgrid is that it provides the ability for voice, interactions, reflections, creativity, and connections. So this Flipgrid is, is more than a video recording app tools. So the Flipgrid is a video discussion tool quite like as it designs with the Microsoft to work specifically for teachers and students in digital classroom. The flip grid is designed to allow the student to speak in a group without the same fear that might be constrict responses in real world situation. So the students can re-record the responses and removing the pressure of answering in class on the spot. Of course, this tool is a great tool, especially when learning remotely. Flipgrid is a simple, free, and accessible video discussion experience for pre-K to PhD educators, learners, and families. In Flipgrid, educators post discussion prompts and learners respond with short videos. To get started, go to flipgrid.com and click Educator Sign Up to create a free Flipgrid account with Microsoft or Google. Once you've signed up, start the discussion by creating your first topic. Your topic can reflect on a chapter of reading, demonstrate an exercise routine, share a hypothesis, anything. I'll make this as simple as share one of your favorite discoveries. Add anything you want your learners to review prior to responding, such as links and videos, to foster enriching inquiry. You can also set the maximum recording time and choose to moderate your topic, meaning video responses will be hidden from your community until you approve them. Your topic is private to your learning community. Add the email domain of your learners, that's everything after the at symbol in their email, or create a student list for younger learners. Add a guest password if you want to invite families or experts into your discussion. When you're ready, share with your learning community. All they need is this unique code. They can enter the code on the free Flipgrid app or on any computer with a webcam via the Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome browser at flipgrid.com. You can also copy and share this Flipgrid join link wherever you connect with your community, including Microsoft Teams, Google Classroom, and remind. After clicking the unique link or entering the code, your learners will log in either with their Microsoft or Google account or the ID you created for them. Once in, they can see your prompt, access the text with the powerful immersive reader, and when they're ready, click record to add a video with a simple, fun social media. So the last is the Edmodo. So Edmodo is an educational technology company offering a communications, collaboration, and coaching platform and K-12 schools and teachers. 
So the Edmodo Network enabled the teacher to share the content, distribute quizzes and assignments, and managing the communications with students, colleagues, and the parents. So the Edmodo is a very teacher-centric in their designs and philosophy. So the students and the parents can only join in the Edmodo if they are invited to do so by the teachers. The Edmodo is free to use, but also it is offer a premium services. Hi there, and thanks for coming by. One of the most important parts of a school year is setting up your classroom. And on Edmodo, the same can be said for setting up your classes and groups. If you're planning on using Edmodo with your students, you can set up your classes based on your schedule, the subjects you teach, or any student organizations you advise. If you're working with other teachers on Edmodo, you can set up groups for your department, grade level teams, or other education networks. If you change your mind regarding whether you wanted a class or a group, you can always change its type later from the advanced settings page. Creating a class is easy. Simply click the plus icon in your class panel and complete each of the required fields, all of which are editable later. Pick a name for the class, a grade level, or a range of grades by using the sliders shown here. Then pick a subject area and content specialty. This information will appear at the top of your class pages for all members to see. The privacy settings allow you to make your class private to only those who join the class or public to the school or district you belong to. This can be helpful if you want to give access to your group to other members at your school or district. Finally, the color will help you keep your classes organized and color-coded in your class panel. Creating a group can be done the same way, but by clicking the plus icon in your group panel instead. Once you've created a class or a group, you can always access it from the panels on the left side of the page. You can rearrange your schedule by simply dragging and dropping your classes into the order you desire. If you want to hide one from your panel, Click Manage Classes and add or remove any class from your favorites. Once you've created your classes, you'll be ready to start inviting your students to join you on Edmodo.